In downtown Bamako, Malians are absorbing the news the elections they were promised next month aren't going to happen and may not for up to five years. Opposition leaders say the decision by the transitional government is unacceptable. Holding meetings to say they want to be in power for five years. I think this is anti-constitutional, anti-democratic and it hasn't got any legitimacy. When junta leader Colonel Asimi Guerta was sworn in last July following two military coups in less than a year, he sought to unite Malians and said presidential elections would be held. But on Thursday, a conference charged with recommending an election timetable said the polls should be delayed by between six months and five years. Guerta's supporters agree now is not the time for elections. Post-electoral crises are more dangerous than the situation we're in today because we've seen genocides, we've seen bloodbaths across the world. Today I think we need calm to reassure the population here and elsewhere. The international community must understand that the lesser evil today is addressing the concerns of Malians. Despite criticism of the interim government, analysts say it has managed to bring some stability to Mali. The government in, in, in Bamako is, is, to a large extent, a step ahead of every, everyone. You just have to look at how they've been able to change the reality on the, on the ground in a, a very incremental but very steady uh, basis. The West African regional bloc, ECOWAS, is expected to discuss the situation next week. It's already imposed sanctions on officials and has promised more if Mali's leaders don't produce a plan for a democratic transition. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.